Hello everyone, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Atere Ayodeji. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some facts, some reason why most girls are being arrested at the airport. And before we continue, you have to just try and help us try and subscribe to our YouTube channel in order for you to get notified whenever we drop a new video and in order for you to get known whenever we drop an educative video like this. I am the CEO of Emperor Travels and Tour, a subsidiary of Emperor Group of Company. So, to my returning subscriber, I really appreciate and thank you all. And if you are new here on this channel, please consider subscribing and encourage us. It doesn't bite. On this channel, you, you, you will be learning a whole lot, a whole lot of information about travels and tours, about life in general. And I will be bringing so many package for you guys, for my audience to view. Thank you very much. Just hang on, watch the video from beginning to the end in order for you to get informed and for you to know what I'm talking about. If you're a ladies, if you're traveling for the first time, you have to listen to me very well. Watch this video before you travel abroad. Or else, who knows? You might get, God forbid, you might get bounced back from the airport, you get arrested by the Nazi or by the police or they, they delay you on your passport or wherever they might even seek your passport because a whole lot of things are happening in our local and international airport of which it is not known to everybody in our society in today's video i'm going to be revealing five major reasons why most girls are being arrested in our airport even though most of the girls that are being arrested they have legit and confirm Mabel confirm um, visas and air tickets and they even have their BTA normally. They have everything it takes to travel. But we with we, we with their ignorances, maybe they have they might have made one or two mistakes or the other, they will be delayed. They will be arrested at, at the airport and at the end of the day they will miss their flight ticket, they will not travel. So that's why you need to keep on watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel, even this is very, very important. For you as a first timer, the reason why most people have been arrested is number one, first time ignorance. I tag this one first time ignorances. Maybe when you just appear, all the immigration officers and the police and the NAPSI officer there, they know you are a first timer. They will just arrest you without anything. If you are a lady, this thing is very, very common. They will just arrest you, they will delay you. They will start questioning you so if you are a first traveler and if you're a female you have to be very very careful yes you have to be very very careful whenever you are going to the airport be smart be bold don't be stupid don't be naive don't let them arrest you or don't let, don't even give your international passport to anyone whenever anyone asks you to give your where's your international passport tell the person what the fuck what do you want to do with it act like you are smart don't be if, if you just lose guard, you give them your passport, they will delay you, they will arrest you, they will stunt you, they will collect money from you, they will bully you, they might even take you to anywhere. So that's number one. Don't be ignorant. So if you're if you're if you're, if you're first time, be smart. That's number one. Two, lack of confidence. If you don't have confidence in yourself, when you get to the airport, you are just looking right and left, you don't know where to go, you don't know straight up you you, you don't know where to go or wherever you are not well informed or you don't have anybody to board you or whatever my brother my sister you might be arrested they will just arrest you for unknown reason before you know they will seek your passport especially if you are a female they will seek your passport before you know they will just transfer your case to somewhere else you will miss your flight ticket you will waste all the money you will waste all the fun that's number two lack of confidence if you don't have confidence if you are going to Nigeria airport, if you are traveling from Abuja or most of Lagos airports, if you are traveling from there, you might be arrested and you might miss your flight, miss everything you want. So that is that about it. That's number two. Three, I tag this one, Ron's girl's look. Do not look like a Ron's girl. Because the reason why they arrest you is that they believe uh, any girls, any fine girls, any beautiful girl that you look gorgeous, you do your hair, you do everything, you wear your eyelashes, wear your makeup, and you are looking very young. They believe you are going abroad to do prostitution. That is their belief. 
So if you have a prostitution look, they will just arrest you. Bam! Hand you over to Napti. If you if they hand, handed you over to Napti, just believe you are gone. You you have already missed the flight. Once the Napti capture you, once the, the immigration arrests you, you submit your pa passport to the immigration. From immigration, you will be transferred to the Napti. From Napti, they will start asking you questions. To start ask questioning you, where where are you going to? Are you you are going to Dubai? Are you trafficked by someone? Most especially if you are followed by any agency. If they catch that agency, they can arrest him or whatever. They will believe they want to traffic the girl. They will start asking you all sorts of questions. Except you are bold, you can defend yourself. If you are not a first time traveler, you can show them you are you live in Dubai or whatever. Most especially, this thing occurs to people to girls that. That they really want to go to Dubai or all this any all this Gulf country like um, Baghdad or Oman or um, Saudi Arabia, they most of them have 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 victims of these things I'm talking about. It's really happening. A lot of things are happening very very wrong at our airports. So if you cannot settle yourself out, just go there. You look um, like a wrong girl. They will just arrest you. At the end of the day, you waste your flight ticket, your money, everything gone. And if care is not taken, if you are going to Dubai, at the end of the day, you must even you might even your visa might even got expire before you carry your parents. They will ask to bring your parents, your father, whatever before before the. Um, Napti will answer you. Your visa, everything might have expired. At the end of the day, you discover you lose a whole lot of money. Even some girls even lost interest. They say, I'm no longer interested in that traveling because before they even release your visa, your international passport to you, it, should, it must have taken too long. So they, you get discouraged. So if you don't want all these things to happen to you, do not look like a wrong girls. Whenever you are going to the airport, dress corporate, dress smart. Are you getting it? Yo, that is it. Then, another reason most girls have been arrested is inability to defend your documents. Some people, they are carrying uh, their airline, they will ask you, where are you going to? You, don't, you are going to Dubai, fine. Most guests know that one. You are going to Dubai or Baghdad. They will, they will ask you, who are you going there to meet? Most girls don't know. They must ask you again, which airline are you flying with? Most girls don't know. So, and the thing is written on their paper. When they, whenever they give them a document, they will, most people don't even bother to read it. So, whenever you are given any document, when you are traveling abroad, most especially you girls, you ladies, read your documents. If you are going there for a tourist, tell them you are going there to flex, you are going there to play. They will ask you where you're going to give them an address. No, make sure you know where you are going to. And if you are from if you are going to Baghdad or wherever, if they ask you where are you going to, tell them you are going to Baghdad. You are going to Baghdad to do what? Tell them you are going there for work. If you are with a work visa or whatever. And some girls are very naive, dumb, and and ignorant. They will ask them. Where are you going to? They don't know. They will ask them, which airline are you flying with? They don't know if it's Egypt, if it's Ethiopia, if there's a Rwanda airway. They don't know. And, the, and those documents are with them. So I'm, I'm very, very familiar with all cases like this. And at the end of the day, they will just arrest such girls, dump them at a nap tip or wherever. That is all. You've missed your flight ticket, your money, everything gone so um if i may advise you if you are a first time traveler um try and get someone to assist you at the airport maybe an immigration or anybody working there don't just go there on your own most especially if you are going to baghdad oman or all these gulf countries or bahrain also make sure you have an assistant and immigration to assist you on to do your clearance for you that is the simple advice i can give you i can give you because things are very very different and difficult at the nigeria airport that is our system we are used to it we pray god save us so that everything will go free for free and if you have if, if you're having difficulties in in boarding yourself from the airport you can call me on 
080-674-6645. If you wanna go, if you wanna travel abroad, you are having, if you're a first time, time if, you're, if you're a first timer, you're a first traveler, yeah, is, this is the first time you are traveling. Anywhere in the world you are going to, if it is Bahamas, Baghdad, Dubai, Maldives, Mauritius, anywhere you are going, anywhere in the world, for you to have a very free passage. If you don't have anybody to help you, I can carry the body. You can call me on 0067346645 and I will do that for you. Thank you very much. My name remains again at Terra IODG, the CEO of Emperor Travels and Tour and the CEO of Emperor Group of Company. I have a lot of businesses I'm, I'm doing. I'm into loan. I have a loan company. I have a cargo company. I do cargo exports and import. I'm into travels and tour. I'm a freelancer. I'm a, um, uh, I'm a content creator. So I'll be launching another YouTube channel that um, deals with travels and lifestyles. Whenever I do that, I'll just upload something here. I'll give you a link here so that you can subscribe to that channel. Thank you very much. Before you go, never forget it. Please just air post. Subscribe to your YouTube channel. Just try and help us subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye. God bless you for watching us up to this standard. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.